Hi, I'm Phil Bond, President and CEO of Tech America, the largest technology association here in the U.S. and the voice for the industry. Today, the Obama administration has released its new detailed plan for how to really take advantage of information technology in pursuit of the many important government missions. We're particularly thrilled to see that for a number of reasons, but including the fact that the recommendations from the Obama administration map almost 100 percent to recommendations made earlier this year by the Government Technology Opportunity in the 21st Century Commission, or GTO 21, which was a project of the Tech America Foundation. You can learn more about that particular report and see some of the details on the Tech America Foundation website. But I think the relevant point for all of us today in the industry is the Obama administration means business. They've mapped out a short-term action plan over the next six months which shows aggressive action to really unleash the potential of technology. That is exactly one of the main findings of the Commission from the Tech America Foundation, that we needed an action plan, an action plan for government, an action plan for industry. Each needed to step up, do their part, talk to each other more, so that we could really realize some benefits. So let me talk a little bit about some of the findings in that. For instance, these changes will mean faster and more agile adoption of programs. Smaller, shorter term duration, a little bit smaller technology bite with better management to result in, in better outcomes for the taxpayer. That's one. Uh, it will also mean more communication between industry and their partners in government. Rules and misperceptions have stood in the way and barred that communication. So we're going to bring them together with the administration making it clear what the rules are and how people are allowed to engage so that we can get to better outcomes. A better understanding of the problem will mean better technology and better outcomes. So those are just a couple of the ways. We'll also require, for it to become reality, we'll require full cooperation from Capitol Hill and the Congress. Tech America is ready to advocate for exactly that. We'll be working with our many friends and champions of technology on Capitol Hill to explain why this is necessary and the changes we must see. For instance, multidisciplinary money, multi-year budgets, or in the parlance of the Beltway, multicolored money. That's going to be necessary to see these through. Take the bite-sized, smaller, more agile technology buys, but build them over time to a larger product and larger service. Again, to return benefit and better service to the taxpayers, more return for the taxpayers' investment in technology. We'll look forward to working with Capitol Hill not only on that multifunction, multi-year, multi-color money, but also for future administrations, codifying some of these recommendations into law. Many of these things can absolutely be done under current authority, but it would be better to codify those for future administrations to guarantee that we get a better return in the kind of process that the administration talked about today. For too long, uh, the technology in the government space has not been able to be as productive as technology in the commercial space. We believe and we have documented that that has been because we have, we have tied up uh, technology in the government space kind of like Gulliver with Lilliputian red tape and rules that have held it back. Now the Obama administration in conjunction with industry is saying let's unleash technology, realize more benefit, more return for taxpayer dollars. That's exactly the core of the recommendations that the, uh, the Commission forwarded to the administration earlier this year. Uh, that effort was done and completed and handed over in October of this year with recommendations that uh, we, we had hoped we would see the administration embrace. Today we can report that we see virtually a full embrace by the administration of the recommendations that the Commission put forward. And it now will be our job to go forth to Capitol Hill, working with our partners uh, in the administration, to ask for cooperation from Capitol Hill, because the bottom line is going to be better return for taxpayers.